today we're chatting with Dr. Kathleen Franco, a psychiatrist with the Cleveland Clinic about postpartum depression. Dr. Franco has agreed to take questions from our members about postpartum depression that have come in over the internet. First up is Karen from Atlanta. Dr. Franco, will postpartum depression go away on its own? Well, probably not for a very long time. Uh, classically, we think of major depression, of which postpartum depression is one subspecifier, lasting anywhere from six months to two years. And when not treated, it can go on to a chronic condition uh, like dysthymia, which is a lower grade depression. So although it might improve and might go back to baseline, you can't really count on that. Hi, Dr. Franco. How does PPD affect children in the long term, and how can we lessen those effects? Well, when a woman is depressed, it's very hard to promote optimal mother-child bonding. As a result, uh, she may be less interactive with the child or just less energetic, less attentive to what the child is trying to communicate before there's language, which is challenging enough in and of itself. Um, it is often that the child tunes into the mother's affect, um, but can't quite relate, can't get uh, the response that is expected. And so they may become depressed. In fact, um, when the mother and the child are both depressed, treating the mother and having her come out of her depression is often enough to treat the child's depression. So we know for certain that uh, children can have delays um, perhaps in their communication or their cognitive skills if the mother's depression lasts uh, for a significant period of time. So optimally, the mother gets the depression treated rapidly because then the child comes back, rebounds, uh, and is able to move forward. Dr. Franco, can anything be done to prevent postpartum depression? or is it going to happen no matter what? Well, yes, I think it depends on how much an individual is at risk for postpartum depression. So if the individual has had no depression in the past, um, then the rate of maybe new baby blues, which is a very brief period of time, can be 40 to 80% peaking at five days, but then the woman quickly goes back to baseline. That's not what we're really talking about. We're talking about major depression. So if I had had that kind of a depression, after a prior pregnancy, then I would know that my risk could be one in two. Um, if I'd only had a depression at another time in my life, meeting those characteristics, it would be one in four. So I think knowing what my risk would be before I delivered the baby would be extremely important. But if I thought that I'd had a very serious episode, I would take steps uh, to try to minimize that risk. With my first pregnancy, I got what's called the new baby blues, and I'm concerned with the second that I'm going to have the same thing, and I'm just wondering how long it's going to last and uh, at what point I should be concerned. Well, um, mentioning again uh, postpartum blues or new baby blues, those are very, very common and often pass uh, maybe peaking around day five but are gone, say, within two weeks. Uh, that I wouldn't worry about. That does not necessarily mean that you're gonna have a full-blown major depression in the postpartum period. Um, that doesn't mean I wouldn't pay attention to it, but I wouldn't worry excessively about that. That's very normal. With respect to the major depression criteria, how much of that I had that lasted two weeks or longer that would impact me greatly, as I mentioned, about anticipating what I would do to try to take care of myself. Dr. Franco, I've heard that antidepressants only work for people with severe depression. Is this true? Well, some of the more recent literature has indicated that um, mild uh, to moderate depressions may do as well with placebo as they do with medication. I think it depends on the individual. Um, I have seen cases that I believe uh, benefited from an antidepressant. Uh, when you look at large studies like that, um, 
I, I don't think that you can say for each individual that's true, that only the most severe ones should be treated actively with medication. Uh, those, those severe ones might even need ECT or other kinds of therapies too. But I do think it depends on how um, difficult it is for the mother to function with her baby. This is a time where they need to be in sync. They need to be tuned in on one another. She needs her energy. She needs a positive outlook. And if that is not shifting with some psychotherapy, whether it's classified as mild or not, I think if I were that woman, I would talk to my doctor and say, what else could I be doing to get myself better faster? Dr. Franco, this has been great information. If you'd like more on the topic of postpartum depression, please go to our website at www.sharewick.com.